Hey, how's everyone doing? This is Oz with Oz Mechanics, and on today's video, I'm gonna be showing how to take off the oil pressure sensor on the Chevy trucks. Uh, I've been watching the, some videos on YouTube, and I noticed that some people have been having a hard time taking them off. I'm gonna show you the easiest way and most effective way to take off the sensor. And on good note, I'm gonna be uh, having some trips coming up, and I'm gonna be going to the NACE Auto Mechanica coming up in Atlanta and Mexico City. I hope I can see y'all over there. And if you want to register, just uh, I'm gonna put a link down below and make sure to click on it and hope I can see you over there as well so we can be training together. So let's get to this video. Hope y'all like it. All right, so right here we have ourselves a 2007 5.3 liter engine and uh, these are gonna be the tools that we're gonna be needing so we have our screen right here that a lot of people forget to change out and this is gonna be right underneath the oil pressure sensor and like I said a lot of people forget to switch this out we have our AC Delco pressure sensor and what I'm using right here using this ratchet this is uh one from harbor freight it's actually really good i love it i got an adapter from uh one quarter to three h a six inch and then on top of that we're gonna have our one and one sixteenth to take off the sensor and as well what we're gonna need and these are gonna be the crucial parts we're gonna have we're gonna need this 90 degree pick and as well i'm gonna use this one right here and this is what we're going to use to extract the the actual screen the the 90 degree pick right here this is what we're going to use to actually push off one of the hoses and the hose that we're trying to take off is going to be the the booster hose so that's going to be a crucial part right there to make this job a lot easier so let's get back here and let's see what we're getting ourselves into and hopefully we can take this off pretty fast all right so these pressure sensors they're actually right back here can't get the camera straight in there but what i'm going to do i'm going to put a picture right now an illustration on where these are at so as you can see from the picture it is right back there so what we're gonna do now, I'm gonna try to see if I can get the camera a little bit lower in there so we can take off this hose. And I'm gonna show you what we're gonna, uh, what we're gonna do. We're gonna use that 90 degree pick to pull this hose off and that's gonna give us enough room to actually get our socket down there to take everything off. So let's go down there. All right, so this is gonna be kind of hard to film right here. So I'm just gonna try to show you while I try to take this off. All right this right here as you can see this is the hose that goes to the brake booster and this hose goes all the way back here so what we're trying to do you see we're going to push this all back right, so essentially what we need to do is get our pick it's kind of hard to do this with one hand so i'm going to show you so right here we move this back Get our pick and push the red tab inwards. I got, I got these two hands, man. This is gonna be hard to do. So, like I said, what we need to do is push this inwards, and then with the other hand, take pull that off. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna put the camera down for a quick second, so I can get this done. All right, so we got this piece off, and this is the piece that is right back here. And now, if we look down there's our pressure sensor right there so as you can see now we can get our tools down there and take that sucker off so this is really what's right in our way so let's put push this off and uh we're just gonna go back here and unclip we unclipped it and now what we're gonna do we're gonna get our extension all right as you can see with what I have right here and the small ratchet it just makes it a, a lot easier all right so we have our sensor out 
There you go. And make sure if if uh, this comes out of the sensor, that actually goes, that's a protective sleeve that goes on the connector. So take that off, use your little pick and then take it off. Now what we need to do is take off the little uh, screen in there. So we're gonna look back over here. And right in there, there's gonna be a little screen. So what we're gonna use like I said, we're going to use this little pick right here. As you can see how the angle is, it's going to go in and then we're going to pull it right out. So let's put that in there and let's take it the right out. The screen wasn't too dirty, but you know, what the heck, let's just switch it out. It's always good practice to switch these out. They're not too expensive, especially when you do a job like this. So now what we're going to do, just put everything in the reverse order. Whew. But as you can see, it wasn't too hard. Like I said, you need a 90 degree pick to take off the little red piece right there. And as well, you need the other pick. And I'm gonna put the links on those picks. If I'm not mistaken, I bought them from Advanced Auto Parts pretty quick. And uh, that should be it. And don't forget to switch out that, uh, that sleeve right here that comes on. All right, if you do like this video, please thumbs up, subscribe, and share. And don't forget to hit that little notification bell to get all the brand new videos coming out from Oz Mechanics.